All right, so two minutes on a tidbit for today. So in the previous chapters, we explained that Abinani is somebody who's not necessarily in control of his heart. He still has desires and enjoyment and worldly pleasures. However, he's in control of his thoughts, speech, and action. So he'll make sure that he never actually comes to do a physical sin. And we explained in the previous chapter that even though he doesn't actually in control of his heart to the extent that he's able to actually create real feelings of love to God, but since he can at least think about God's godliness, and that will cause him to do a mitzvah because he understands God's greatness. He's also coming to serve, doing, serve God because of these thoughts that he has, that's also going to be considered like a love and fear in a certain sense. And God will connect it to the mitzvah to consider it like a love and fear which is causing him to do the mitzvah. In today's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe is now going to go back to the Pasuk, which he said the entire Tanya is based on. As in the front cover of the Tanya, the Alter Rebbe said, this Tanya is coming to explain the Pasuk, that this thing, serving God, is very close for every single person to do. It's very accessible, and that you're able to serve God in your mouth and in your heart to do his mitzvahs. Now, the question the Alter Rebbe asks in this parak is like this. As we're starting chapter 17, the Alter Rebbe asks, how can you say it's very easy for me to serve God in my heart? To serve God in your heart is not so easy, and terror is eternal, so you can't just say it's talking to previous generations. It must be talking to us today as well. How can you tell me it's easy to, for me to transform my feelings and my desires, naturally I enjoy the world? How can I transform that so easily to love a God? And we even see this in the Gemara, that the Gemara says that Moshe Rabbeinu told the Jewish people, what does God want from you? He just wants you to fear God. The Gemara asks on that, what, just fear God? Is fearing God a small thing? So if fearing God is a small thing, for sure love as is much easier to create a feeling of fear than that of love. So how can you tell me that it's an easy thing, it's very close for every person to feel a love for God? That's against the way we relate to things. And also the Gemara tells us elsewhere that Sadiqim specifically have their heart in their control. But a Benini or anyone else doesn't have their heart in their control. So how can you tell me that I'm able to control my heart to create feelings for God if I don't relate to that? I relate to the physical world. But now that we explained in the previous chapter that there's the idea of loving God in your mind, that we can, now we can answer the question. Because we're not talking about the love which is a real burning love and fear of God which is in your heart in a revealed sense. But rather we're talking about at least in your mind. You're able to control your mind and therefore you're able to think about whatever you'd like. So when you think about godliness and you think how great God is and how he fills all the worlds and he's much greater than all the worlds and therefore you're going to appreciate godliness at least in your mind, that will cause you to do a mitzvah. And that's also considered a love and fear like we just established. So therefore that's what the Pasuk is talking about. And this is, fits with the words that the Pasuk says, It's not a regular bilvavcha just in your heart. It's bilvavcha la feelings of love in, in your heart which are going to cause you to do the mitzvah. So even if it's not really in your heart and a burning love for that, but if it's enough to cause the last soy say, it will also be considered a real feeling of love for God. See you next time.